Hey guys, Ranger Georgie here with U.S. Fish and Wildlife from Laguna Cascosa National Wildlife Refuge in partnership with the City of Brownsville. Welcome back to the Virtual Junior Ranger Program. This week is week six, kayaking. All right guys, so this week we're gonna have a couple of things in store for you. We're gonna teach you, first off, the basics that you need to know when it comes to maneuvers, going forward, turning, doing the 180. Just basic maneuvers that's gonna help you have a nice, relaxing, comfortable time on the water. We're also gonna show you the basic of what you need to get out on the water, as in kayaks, paddles, and proper PFD, as well as a list of locations that you can go to around the Brownsville area and go get your kayak in the water. Plus, we're gonna have a couple of nice, relaxing rides. Hopefully, y'all enjoy it. So where can you go kayaking? Well, there's plenty of places that you can go kayaking around Texas, but being that we live in Brownsville, we're going to stick to this area. A couple of good places you can go to is any of the local Rosacas. There are some that have excellent launching points, such as the Event Center, as well as the Brownsville Sports Park. Then you also have the Laguna Madre, which you have access to from anywhere near South Padre Island. You can actually go park your vehicle along from any of those local areas that are around the Laguna Madre itself. You also have San Martin Lake. San Martin Lake is located just right off the pine and on the Memorial uh, Boat Launch. And you can go right into there. It's a very beautiful area. Really relaxing. All right, so before you get on the water and go on your first kayaking trip, you're obviously going to need a kayak. Now these vary when it comes to price, but the big difference that you're going to see, at least right here in front of you, is a sit in and a sit on top. Now both of these are excellent for the waters that we have around here, very nice calm waters and it just honestly goes back to user preference as to what you would like, what kind of trip you're planning on taking. But both of these here will be excellent in all the locations that we've mentioned. Now when it comes to choosing your kayak, whether you're going to want a longer one or a wider one, depending on the activity that you're going to be If this is just for recreational use, which is the kayaks that you all see in front of you are just recreational kayaks. Which is good for getting out if you need some PT or just enjoying some of the beautiful scenery. But if you want to go into more of a uh, use of a kayak, let's say it's a fishing kayak, which has rod holders, you're going to be standing up, casting, you're going to want it to be wider so you have a lot more stability in the water. The only problem with that is you are going to lose um, your speed and your maneuver. It's not as easy to cut through the water, it's not as easy to turn or stop on a dive. When they're longer, skinnier, you're going to be able to control everything a little bit easier. Your strides are going to go a lot more through that water. So it just depends on what you want. So another must have is a paddle. Now paddles come in many different shapes and sizes. If you notice in front of us, we have two different kinds. They're both, one of them is curved and the other one is flat. Now they both have their better environment. Yet again, it goes back to user preference. Me personally, I do prefer the curve. And if you notice, this sits on the same plane which is how I like to paddle. You can always change it 15 degrees as to where one of your paddles will be up and it's easier to cut through the wind and you have less resistance on your own shot. So you're also gonna need a PFD. What is a PFD? A PFD is a personal flotation device, otherwise known as a life vest. By required by Texas state law, when you're in a kayak, you must have either a class one, two, three, or five on you or on your kayak. Now what you see on me is a class 2, and there is other classes. What we have here is a class 5. Probably one of the most comfortable ones you can wear. Great for all day use. And blows up whenever it hits water. Very nice, very comfortable. And if you need it, it's going to work. Now there are definitely many ways you can customize your kayak to make them more suitable and comfortable for you. Everything from knee guards to different padding, better seats, the list goes on and on. But what we're gonna do is take y'all out on a couple of tours just to see if it's something that you would wanna get your feet wet. So let's get going. 